guys ogs from the u.s welcome to the channel and thank you for watching today is the day today is the deadline day after today no more transfer talking until january well at least on paper because it's a never ending business so it's not gonna end man as soon as this window closes another window opens on paper of course and we'll be talking about uh, all the links and all the fake news and all the speculations it's gonna continue but it's gonna slow down just a little bit so today is a big day i wanted to appreciate marina's work during this window we didn't have anything for a couple windows and we waited to get the right players and i have to appreciate everything that she's been doing you know when she does something good i always praise her but when she does something bad i also have the right to say hey marina we have so many dead woods right now because of you so you are struggling to get them out but remember you caused this to begin with so when i say that People think that I don't appreciate Marina, but hey, appreciating somebody doesn't doesn't mean you have to always lie or you have always to say positive things. You know what I'm trying to say? Overall, Marina been doing a great job at Chelsea Football Club, and uh, I can't even imagine today. I don't think she slept last night. You know dealing with uh, more than 50 players you know some are going out some are coming in you have to make phone calls you have to discuss about the money call your banker call such and such my goodness i can't even imagine to be in her place you know what i'm trying to say so this lady is uh, a lady of steel she is very strong in terms of business so marina well done sister so like i said on a deadline day like this <laughs> that is a lot of day 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 but anyways in a day like this i think she's going to be very very busy it should be or it have to be the busiest day of the year for her because she need to get uh, some players out and get some in and i don't know what's gonna happen uh tony rudiger Jorginho, uh zappa costa is already gone we still have danny drink water bakayoko is almost done by the time you are watching this video she already planned pretty much everything and we might be surprised by uh, the players that are going out and those who are coming in it's too much to talk about today so i will be really all over the place because where do you really start in a day like this you know what i mean too much to talk and um, we still need a couple players in the team if we we're gonna loan you know people like uh, ruben and um, tony rudiger so i don't know what is going to happen happen today but i'm gonna just give you like my wish list what i want to see happening today and keep in mind i'll be live at some point today because you know is a is a dead deadline day so so much can change in just a short period of time so every time that i have something i will go live and talk to you guys because making a video takes a long time okay a lot of energy a lot of editing and all that so when you go live sometimes it makes things a little easier because you have just to talk to people you know so uh i don't know man kalim hastonadoy frank lampard already said no and the last decision is going to be kalim's decision if he say that he want to go to bayern munich Frank Lampard is not going to stand his way. The club want him to stay. Frank Lampard want him to stay and fight for his place. But the final decision is Calium's. Let uh, 
hope and pray that he stays because we still need wingers. Christian Pulisic is not always the fittest player in the team. Hakim Ziyech also is struggling with injuries. So we are going to to, to need people like uh, Kalim Hastonadoy to bring some quality. Maybe from the bench or start the game. Because you have to fight for your place. You have to make that place your own. And nothing is going to be given to you. And uh, that is the first one. The second one for me is going to be about Declan Rice. We still need somebody in that midfield. I know the midfield is packed in order, but we need some more quality. We need uh, somebody with a different uh, uh, quality in that midfield. And Declan Rice is somebody who can uh, be versatile and we need versatile players in the team. So for me, he should be on top of the list. But do you really think that uh, uh, West Ham are going to let their best player go on the dead day, the deadline day before replacing him? I don't know. Anything can happen. Um, Declan Rice can push the move, can give his transfer request or whatever. I don't know what's going to happen, but I wish he can join the almighty Blues. Timoy Bakayoko to Napoli. I was surprised by that deal because I know we don't have good relationships with uh, uh, De Laurentiis, you know, the president of Napoli. He always tried to complicate things when it comes to Chelsea Football Club. And now that Bakayoko is going there, why can't we just uh, make a deal? Get me Koulibaly. <laughs> you know, get Koulibaly, put some money on top, and give them Bakayoko and even send Tony Rudiger over there or something like that. Because, don't get me wrong, we still need a centre-back. Thiago Silva is not going to play 30 plus games a season. I've been watching him at PSG and he's been declining and he's 36 years old. You know, it's the nature, man. He can be as good as he can, but... He, he won't be able to handle winter in England and, you know, all the games on international level and club level. So we need somebody in case Thiago Silva got injured or he need um, a little bit of rest. That's why Frank Lampard is pushing for the clan Rice because if we have a case like that, Rice is going to take his place immediately. A leader a captain he got it all man this kid is great if we don't get rice and we need somebody in the midfield just let's go for <clears throat> for the french market <laughs> you know what i mean why not sumari from lille 35 million it's gonna be easy because you know remember last uh, window uh lille already accepted um what it's called you know the, the the bead from Newcastle but Sumari said no I'm not going to Newcastle because he knows that he's better than Newcastle no I'm not disrespecting the Jodies here but I'm talking about he 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 sees himself as a player who deserve to be like playing Champions League and stuff so and don't get me wrong because you know uh, Newcastle are a very big club I love them so if Sumari, we can't make it, just let go for Thomas party. <laughs> Let's start a party with a party. You know what I mean? Thomas party is also there. He got the release close, 45 million pound. All you have to do is pay the money and get him. And I heard that they don't want any kind of swap deal plus money kind of for situation because Arsenal tried to give them Gwendozi and other players but they said no so if we have the money if the clan rice is uh, is impossible okay let's go for party let's start a party with Thomas party so Marina can do the magic and uh, she got the power that women so make some miracles happen today and uh, man the list is very long my wish list is very long today so i will ask you guys to leave your list your wish list 
in the description down below so we can share what would you like to see on the deadline day like today you know who would you like to see a Chelsea football club who would you like to keep or who would you like to sell it's a discussion like I said Marina's job is going to be done in few hours from now so she can take a holiday and relax a little bit because her job will be you know partially done because in this kind of positions you you keep talking to agent and talking to you know players and contract the entire season but the deadline day is like a specific day where you just feel like you are going to explode or something but well done even if we don't get anybody else i'll be happy look at our team completely different kai harvard timo Werner, hakim ziyech and edouard mendy that is the one that makes me even more exciting edouard mendy finally we have somebody who can actually catch a ball and we have ben shewell people criticized frank lampard for blah 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 he only wants english players and he's overrated and regular and he's better uh, tellers tagliafico blah blah but frank lampard knows exactly what he's trying to do and we saw a little bit of uh, magic from ben shewell and more to come so we have to trust the process we have to trust frank lampard because he knows what he's doing and uh, if we have the money let's just uh, give him the money and allow him to make his team gel his team together and deliver and after that we can judge him thank you for watching god bless you think outside the box and see you in the next one Stand for me to terminate. We get the blue.